Good morning, Melbourne. This is the sounds of the city. Hello, my name is Nina. Welcome back to my channel. It's a really good life. Today, today is Sunday, sometime in August, and I am in Melbourne, as you can see. I'm staying at the Melbourne Short Stay Apartments, and I am here for the National Disability Summit, which starts tomorrow that being Monday, but today I'm heading out to Geelong to meet up with some friends who live with multiple sclerosis, and we're just gonna catch up and have a bit of a lunch while I'm down here. I came down yesterday, I did a long haul road trip with my driver, Aussie. We just drove directly from Wollongong to, um, oh, it's raining, woohoo. Oh my God, it is so cold. We drove directly from Wollongong to, um, to here, Melbourne, in oh, about nine hours and it was i was just shattered but caught up last night with my friend marietta while i was down here and we just went and had dinner at a greek restaurant called stalactites just um i think it was down here down here on lonsdale street and it was really nice just to catch up but i'm going to be seeing her again at the the summit in well tomorrow actually so i'll give you an apartment tour all right, so you come in the apartment and this is Ozzy's room. Oh, and he's not there. He's just gone out to Coles to get a few grocery items. So that's his room. And then Ozzy's got his own, um, his own little bathroom and it's got a washing machine, shower. Oh, where's the light? I can't even turn the light on. Oh, oh, where's the light? Where's the light? God said there was light and it was good. But there's the, that's Ozzy's bathroom. So... Then we come here and I've got my Permobile F5 charging there. That's like the charge station area, dining table, lounge. We've got a fully decked out kitchen. Most important thing, lots of English breakfast too for me. We come over here. This is the nice lounge area, TV. It's got pay TV. Um, this is my bedroom down here and it's a fucking pigsty, but don't judge me, okay? I've got, like, enough clothes and bags and stuff. I'm only down here for, like, five days. I mean, seriously, I've even brought gold sparkle boots. And that's my bathroom over there. And I've got a queen-size bed. And then out here we have the balcony with views of Melbourne. Now let's address the elephant in the room before we even go any further. I got my hair done. I think in the last vlog I was thinking about getting it done and I actually went ahead and got it done. It is seriously bright, bright red as you can see and it actually matches my glasses. So um, I'm dressed, my outfit of the day. You've probably seen this jumper before. I am not disabled, I just really like wheelchairs. I've got... Um, my harem pants on, my black sketches, and I'm just really chilled out and relaxed. I am waiting 8.30. Um, my friend Carly Finlay Morrow is coming over um, with her partner for just a catch up. And then I'm on the road to Geelong. So this trip um, is just crazy. It's just nonstop. Like I... <sighs> I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted and it's only the second day. So, but I really have to thank Ozzy, my driver, um, for stepping up and, and doing this. It's definitely something that's out of his comfort zone, but he's doing it and he's doing a fantastic job. So, yeah, he's gone over to Coles right now to get a few supplies, just cereal and bread and toast and all that kind of stuff. And, um... Yeah, I, I just, I, I am so, I'm so thankful that he, that he agreed to do this and, and that it's working out so well. But I seriously, I just wish I could go back to bed. I really do. I could go back to bed. It is raining outside. It is pouring down cold and I just want to go back to bed, but I can't. I've got to get up and, and get on with the day. So I don't know how much I'm going to get to film today, but I'm sure I'll get bits and pieces as we go along. So please join me. Please join me on this road trip adventure this is Ozzy morning Hello. Oz Hello. how are you? great how Ozzy's you? just come back from doing the shopping my god you've got a good stack I tell you what so we've got juice we've got bread 
We've got croissants, eggs, butter, peanut butter, raspberry jam. What more could you want? Thanks, Oz. But, bad news, you just went and did all that. And now Carly has said that we're actually going to breakfast. So awesome. she's taking us to a cafe that is very hip and very Melbourne. Nice. So. Hi guys, it's now 11.30 in the morning and I'm in the van with Ozzy. Ozzy is driving and we've just reached Geelong. It is freezing cold in Melbourne today. It was hailing about an hour ago. I had breakfast this morning. Well, we actually went to breakfast with Carly Finlay Morrow. She's a very well known celebrity in the um, disability community and it was just nice to catch up we went to higher ground and Ozzy actually got like a hot cake seriously it was as big as his head he couldn't actually eat it all but we're now heading on to an MS event my permobile f5 is in the back as usual we're heading on to um, the edge cafe which is on the waterfront at Geelong and I'm catching up with Di. I haven't seen Di since November last year when I was last down in Melbourne with Chev. You may remember that vlog. But it'll be a good chance to catch up with her and there's some new um, new people to meet. Everyone, pretty much everyone there has MS. So yeah, but then we're gonna head back to Melbourne and just chill out for the rest of the afternoon. I am actually, I'm actually fucked. I really am. This has been like a long, long and tiring trip, but tomorrow the conference starts. But for now, it's a bit of fun, a bit of chance to just, just to relax. Hi guys. We've actually arrived in Geelong now. Lucky enough to actually get a wheelchair parking spot. Didn't have to pay a penny. The many perks of having a disability. Now look at that, how pretty is that? No, I'm not talking about Aussie, I'm talking about the waterfront, the edge. We're just about to go and find the cafe now. I tell you what, there are some benefits of travelling with a taxi driver. He's absolutely awesome at finding places. Because I seriously, you know, literally have got holes in my head. <laughs> We've just finished lunch now at the edge. I didn't get to vlog in there, but it was so lovely. You can't really stick a camera in front of people you're just meeting for the first time, but it was just so lovely to catch up with everyone. And as you can see, I'm now down here on the Geelong waterfront and Di and Ozzy are in front. And we're... <laughs> hey Di! I'm good. Did you want to be in my vlog today, Di? I don't is this... mind being in your vlog today, neither. Is this the first time that you've been in a vlog with me? It is the very first time. Do you want to tell us a bit about yourself? Uh, Introduce yourself. I'm Di. I've got MS too, just like Nina. And we're on a roll down at Geelong Waterfront. <laughs> I really enjoyed catching up with everyone. Yeah, we've, we've just had a really nice lunch and the weather's not too good because it's a bit cold, but welcome to Victoria. Yes. I always love coming to Melbourne. Every time I do, I think, shit, if I win the lotto, you know what I would do? I would literally pack up and move to St Kilda. Kid you not. St Kilda? Nah. St Kilda's too expensive. Chill out. Yeah, but I said I'm going to win a lot of so it wouldn't matter. This is the Geelong Marina and all along the waterfront you have these really cool looking wooden, I think wooden, little mannequin spollards they're called and apparently they're going to introduce, is that true that they're going to actually introduce some wheelchair bollards? I hope so. I think you should this be a bollard, Di. Been... I, think, I think a bollard should be, you know, inspired after you. It should. Why not? I love your chair, by the way. Seriously, that is super cool. It's super cool, isn't it? 
I like the fact that it's got these side bits. To keep your thighs. Oh my god, what a... Oh, wow, they okay. Come, they come off to transfer. So you can do a slide transfer out? Yeah. Ah, oh, that makes sense. That actually makes a lot of sense. What's that? We were just saying that um, if you remove these side parts off Di's wheelchair, she can put a slide board in and then slide and transfer onto a chair. It makes a big difference. Oh, okay. We're back in the van now and um, we're just heading back to Di's house just to have a couple of Tetleys. And D, D4, I am frozen stiff. Oz is driving, as you can see. <laughs> reminds me, it reminds me of that, you know that toothpaste ad where you can't see his face on TV? Oh, toothpaste, yes. Um, <laughs> what I, is it? I mean, Colgate. Colgate, was it? Colgate, yes. Colgate ad, yes, that's the one. But we're going to head back to Di's house and just have a cup of tea and then head, before we head back on the road to Melbourne, hopefully getting back to the apartment around 6 where I can have a nice hot shower and get out of these wet clothes. My pants are actually wet from the rain. Di's ahead of us. She is just in the wheelchair cab in front, if you can see that. So I'm back in the hotel room now and I've had a shower. Um, I'm just chilling out. It's about, it's 8.30 at night. Ozzy has gone to bed already and I'm just on my iPad watching some YouTube videos and I just thought I'd come on and just say how much, how much the day meant to me today. So I went to Geelong as you saw, and spent some time with my friend Di. I last saw Di in um, November last year, and I know she might not like me saying this, but to see how much um, the disease MS has progressed with her, and just in that short period of time, it really made, yeah, it, it really made me sad just to see that. But I so, so enjoyed spending that time with her. We went back to her house afterwards and we had a cup of tea and um, yeah, it was just, it was just nice. And know that I'm always thinking of you, Di, if you're watching this. And I hope, I hope things improve. So enough said on that. I, I have come back and I've had a shower and I've put some conditioner in my hair. I have to use colour conditioner now, but yeah, I'm just chilling out. Literally, I'm about to go to bed at 8.30 at night. I'm hammered. Tomorrow is day one of the National Disability Summit, and I've got to be, you know, alert and ready for that. So I think, oh, also, I think, like, I, didn't, I don't know if I didn't get to vlog this morning when I met Carly Finlay Morrow at, um, we went to the higher ground, we had breakfast, but I didn't get to vlog and I think um, she, she had me thinking like we talked we talked about the more the more successful and the more famous and the more um, mainstream that people with disability become it seems to be the case that there's a tall poppy syndrome and people want to cut you down so that you remain in in that in the darkness i call it the darkness and for her i think that it was really interesting to talk about that topic with her and maybe this is something i'll talk about in a future vlog i don't know if i want to say too much about it now but it was just really interesting to see that things change when you become more successful in life and you can lose people and friendships and relationships along the way so it's not always you know um, stars and roses it, it does it does come with some side effects but it's up to each of us to know whether or not that side effect is 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 worth it so I am raving now 
I am tired. I'm beyond tired. I just wanted to say that I had a fantastic day. And I want to thank everyone um, for making me feel so welcome. Oh, um, I just got some... I don't know if I can... No. I can't show you because they're back out in the dining room and I don't want to wake Ozzy up if I go storming back through there again. But um, I got some gorgeous presents from Di and Linda. Linda painted me some Aboriginal artwork, some paintings, and the colours are just so beautiful. So thank you, Linda. That really meant a lot. Like it, I know exactly where I'm going to put them in my house when I get home, and I'm going to show you later. So I'll show you those pictures when I get a chance. And Di um, got me a T-shirt spray painted, I mean screen printed, with hashtag it's a really good life. So I think that, it, you know, it's always important to remember that that it is, you can still make something of your life even with a disability to, to varying degrees. But today meant a lot. Today was the day that, uh, I don't even know how to, how to put it, but it, it just meant a lot. So thank you guys for having me for lunch in Geelong and, and I really, I hope to have a great day tomorrow. But right now, it's definitely time that I am laying my head down on that pillow and going to bed. Good morning, everyone. Hello. It is a Monday morning now and it's the first day of the National Disability Summit and if you can see I'm still in Melbourne of course and it is so cold the breath is coming out of my mouth you can actually see the breath so this is Melbourne at 7 30 in the morning I am up I am dressed I'm ready I've had breakfast I've done outfit of the day with Aussie as you can see Aussie is just in there on his phone answering messages and whatnot and I'm ready I'm ready to go for um first day so it's going to be a conference today about all things NDIS and oh my god is that that's birds sorry I'm just looking at some pigeons way up high on a point but yeah it's going to be a really good day I'm looking forward to it this is the absolute reason why I came I just find it very interesting that so I've looked at the agenda and so far I can only see that there is one person with a disability as a speaker on the entire two days so i don't know if they're kind of living up to that saying not about us without us but i will reserve my judgment and before i even go anywhere this morning i wanted to show you these this gift that i got yesterday from linda i only met linda through facebook a few months ago, you know, through vlogging actually, and we've become friends. And she's she's an Aboriginal artist, and this these are paintings that she has done just for me and given them to me as a gift. And I tell you what, I was absolutely blown away that someone would do that for me. I mean, look at the colours. It kind of reminds me of Uluru. These are spring flowers that are coming through here, and I know actually where I'm going to put these in my house. So. Thank you, Linda. I can't wait to get back and get these hung. And my lovely friend Di gave me this T-shirt. And I, on the back, it's got... No, on the front, it's got hashtag, it's a wheelie good life. Isn't that so cool? Thank you so much, Di. I thought that was really cool because, um, well, that's the name of my channel. That's... That's, you know, that, that's what I actually believe in, that, this, that, that it can be still, you know, life still can be really good, even if you do have a disability. And I don't know, it just, it is very humbling to, to have people that care about you so much that they, they give you that kind of gift when you come to Melbourne. So thank you. It means a lot. It really does. You don't know how much that does mean, but I had better get better get Aussie ready and we better get on the road we're not we're gonna walk two blocks I'm gonna roll he's gonna walk we're gonna head off and um, I hope this is gonna be a really really good day god doesn't that sound lame oh we're now heading along Collins Street towards the Novotel which is where the conference is gonna be held and Aussie is just ahead of me there looking Totally schmick outfit of the day. Tell you what, I got lost using the GPS tracker on my phone and it bounces off the buildings. So, yeah, I could have got lost, but 
if you ever want to go you know if you ever want to find things easily take a taxi driver because they sure as heck know where to get you right place at the right time Ozzy you're looking totally schmick today my friend thank you very much <laughs> We're about two and a half, well, two blocks away, so easy ride. And I'm looking forward to seeing Marietta again. She should be up and ready for the first day. So we must have any uh, special words, are we, Nina? Special Tri words? Special words for the triggering of the uh, camera. No, no we're not, we're not, no, 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 no strawberry, no, no secret words today, no, no, or do you want me to? <laughs> I'm inside now, don't think I'm going to be able to film too much more. Spin that meatball for me, Oz. Knocky. Knocky. Oh, just... Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> she wants to see you eat it. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. It's day two of the conference today, Tuesday. I am dressed. I am ready. I'm, I'm... Admittedly, I'm tired. I'm worn out. But it's another day and I'm up and I'm ready. Just gonna go through and get some breakfast. Morning, Ozzy. Ozzy's got his breakfast. Pizza. Pizza. Can you believe that? Slightly warmed up pizza from last night. All right, what will I have? I think I'll have... I might have some special K. I think I really enjoyed all of the speakers yesterday, but I particularly did find Andrew Giles from um, MS Australia, of course, was the actual best speaker. He was just entertaining. He, he did a segment on the difficulty that people with MS face in trying to access services, um, not just NDIS related, like New South Wales Companion Card, Centrelink, all that type of thing, when the cognitive issues that many have with MS are so under underappreciated and misunderstood it's very hard for those people to actually access what are what are complicated services my other favorite speaker would have been morris blackburn morris blackburn lawyers hang on a tick mm. today is slater and gordon i'm actually looking forward to um they're going to present on how to best present your case if you're going before the um AAT Tribunal, which of course is very relevant for me, but um, other than that, I'm just going to relax right now and eat my breakfast, and Ozzy's hiding in the kitchen so he doesn't get filmed. <laughs> yes. Yes. I love being filmed, <laughs> being on you. Do you know I said to Ozzy this morning, I said, what are you going to do? Like, I want to give him the day off so he can actually enjoy Melbourne. No, no, no. He's not going to take the day off. No. What for? I am an... I want to be an intelligent person to go out there and learn more about MS and... <laughs> uh, and I need to go and visit the zoo. I told him to go to the movies or visit the zoo or take the van and go to St Kilda and just have a look around for the day. But no... Total dedication, he's going to come to day two of the conference. I just don't even understand that. I want to be educated. He wants to be educated. All right. I can't. How am I going to argue with that? Ozzy's just left to go and put the garbage in the garbage chute on the next floor. So I've got a chance to actually say this. I am actually totally, totally impressed with how he has adapted from being a taxi driver. I mean, literally, like days before we went on this road trip, he was a taxi driver and he's took me on this road trip. He has looked after me fantastically. I've got no complaints. He, he actually said to me yesterday, he said, what does it take to become 
a support worker and I said, Ozzy, you already are a support worker. What do you think you've been doing for the last few days? Yeah, absolutely has made this trip fantastic. No complaints from me at all. I would happily do it, do this trip again with Ozzy. Just worked out really well. Anyway, I better continue eating and stop the talking. Back out on the streets of Melbourne now, heading towards the conference. Ozzy is looking very schmick as always. Outfit of the day, Ozzy. But the only thing I'm worried about is you're not going to have arms by the time you get back because they'll be frozen off. <laughs> I thought, I thought all right. He sent me a challenge that I had to actually work out how to get to the conference from the hotel because I'm seriously shit at directions. Two clues he gives me, Williams Street and Collins Street. So I'm actually on Williams Street now and I'm not doing too bad. I just got to keep going. I'm, I'll figure it out eventually. Don't you reckon, Oz? Yeah, there you go. That's a vote of confidence. I just have to show this amazing this is just stunning I don't know if you can see properly but it's like these glass pipes all hung from the ceiling row after row after row and they've all got lights in them I don't know what that would look at night I mean I haven't seen it at night but it is amazing so all right head on, heading on in for day two I'm on the last session of the day now, which is about SDA housing. Just had lunch and I'm heading back into the conference centre. My friend Marietta is just ahead of me here, leading the way. We've just had to struggle to get out of a coffee shop, Hudson's Coffee on Elizabeth Street. But, never mind, we've done it. Now yesterday I was vlogging and we didn't, we didn't actually get a lot done. We didn't actually get to chat to Marietta. So I'm hoping that we can now. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome to the NDIS National Disability Summit in Melbourne. Which, which session have you enjoyed most so far? Um, the last one. Okay, really? Yeah, yeah. the, the um, idea that a community housing provider and an uh, OT from a uni university, involved at a university, are getting together and designing a project and looking for input from people who will be using the spaces. Isn't that a rare thing? Isn't that a rare thing? Asking us what we actually need and think. That's actually a miracle. Would you want it like that? What would we like? <laughs> <laughs> Choice and control. Such a novel concept. Such a novel concept. So we talked about universal design and we said yes. that would be a good place to start. And Marietta asks really intelligent questions. I haven't actually Except asked a question yesterday. yet. <laughs> No, no, you're doing good, you're doing good. All right, we will head back in. Oh shit, without taking, <laughs> without taking anyone out. For the last and final session of day two. Ozzy's taken a few hours off and he's headed off into the city just to have some downtime. I hope he enjoys himself. I think he said he was going to go to the museum, the National Museum, and I'm like, oh, okay.
um, with I interpreted um, like free with them. Um, I'm here with my friend Marietta now. We've just finished the conference. Whoa! That was the end of day two. And this is Thomas. Hi, everyone. <laughs> From Centre for Access. And I've got to say, my favourite speech of the day. You should have opened oh. the conference, not finished it. Oh. But we're going to go for cake and tea. What's the name? What's the name of the place we're going to Brunelli. 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 Is it Brunetti? Ah, uh -huh. oh, okay. <laughs> Alright. Well, cake and tea it is. Whatever <laughs> it is, it's good. <laughs> Nina, Nina's going to show you. She, she's going to show you when she gets there. Oh shit. Oh. <laughs> Let's go. We're just going to go into this clothes shop to look at... Ah! Hi! I just saw that red coat up there. It's on what? sale at the moment. It's $50 and it's there's only one. Ah. Oh no! What size? It's a free size. I would say it's... A 12 would be the... Maximum. Yeah. I'm not a 12. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh. Have you been into my shop before? No, no, no. We're just down here um, for a conference. Oh, fantastic. So we're just walking past to go to the cafe. Yeah, I'll just explain my shop to you because oh, it's a little different in here. Yeah. What I do here is I support local Australian designers. Oh, okay. Single box and space and rack you see around the shop. I oh, rent nice. it out to the locals. That's probably the best way to oh, do it. Oh, wow, yeah. okay. We're here at Brunetti now. We're about to head in for coffee and cake or in my particular case tea and cake oh oh my god are you serious oh my god wow, wow. oh my god holy christ wow <laughs> this is what I call a cake shop. Wow. And what will you be choosing, young lass? <laughs> God knows. God knows. <laughs> so I managed to get a salted caramel eclair and a hot chocolate. Oh my God, look at that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you just say, Ozzy, <laughs> that I am an Oompa Loompa? That yes, you weren't going to get a cake? Now you're getting a cake. Well, it's all your fault. Can you justify your decision, Ozzy? No, I can't. To get a cake? Because I got uh, forced into buying that. By who? By both of you. By you uh, and Maraca. Is that true? <laughs> yes. I just, I offered to buy it for him. If, 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 I, if I put extra weight, I'm going to use two ladies. <laughs> why, why, why not, why not, why not me? <laughs> I'm not blaming you, I'm blaming you two ladies. Don't worry. Don't know if I'm accurate, but he's looking fly. Me? 
Well, you know, as you can see, I've got the Turkish harem pants on with the drop crotch. I call these my shoplifter pants because they've got such a big drop crotch. You could literally shove things down. <laughs> and I've got new sparkly earrings on because as you go on a road trip, I bought these last night at Linda's Lane when I was out with Marietta. Um, the conference has ended, though, obviously. I would say the most favourite um, session for me was meeting, hearing Thomas Banks from Centre for Access and then meeting and going out with him last night, just getting to know him a little bit better. It was probably the funniest part was when I, I'm, I'm trying to be, you know, discreet with the GoPro, but I just wanted to vlog just a little bit of his speech and he saw it and goes, ooh, <laughs> and everybody started staring, I'm like, oh my god. But yeah, we're back on the road. We've got probably, well, according to this, estimated, oh shit, estimated we will arrive back in Wollongong at 5.10, but that's not counting breaks, so probably 6, 6.30, something like that. And then it's back to work tomorrow. Ozzy? Yes, are you, are you ready for the ride? Ready for the trip? Always ready. Oh my God, you know, as we were leaving Melbourne, I forgot, I've got to tell you this too. We're going past the Melbourne markets and I'm thinking, oh my God, why did I not think to take Ozzy to the Pussy Cafe? Am I the truth? <laughs> well, I ran out of time, literally, but I should have. I said for 20 bucks, you can go into the Pussy Cafe and you can sit down and have a cup of tea, meet all these wonderful pussies and possibly even take one home. And you should have seen Ozzy's face. Yeah, of course, Ozzy's got a dirty mind. Freaking three buck pussy. Oh my god. Okay. When it's actually about adopting a cat. Yes. Don't you need a cat in your life, Ozzy? Always. I need always a pussy in my life. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, no, no, no time for that. Maybe next time. But, yep, on, onwards and upwards, and on we go. We've now arrived at a 24 hour petrol station in Lavington. We're officially back in New South Wales. Ozzy's just over there filling up and I am actually stiffer than a dick on a winter's morning. I really am, like seriously. It's, it's about 12.30, we've been on the road for four hours so far and we're just stopping here to get a bite to eat. guys it's Thursday morning now and as you can see I am back at home um, and this is my friend Matt Hello. we are riding to work today he's got the firefly and an awesome new chair by Mogo wheelchairs I love that chair with natural fit rims I can see at the bottom there it's pretty good spinnergy tires I swear to god I have chair envy all right Matt you lead the way Oh good, I'm coming. Oh my god, he is going, he is going fucking quick. Good morning. Hello. I'm gonna see if I can catch up with Matt. I think I'll do it. I don't know. Yep, I'll do it. Holy shit! Oh my god, no, there's no way that I'm gonna be able to catch up. Why does this one take so much better compared to Yep. And that's the reason. I'm going to leave you guys here for now. I'm heading off to work. Matt's heading off that way to visit his nan. Always remember, it's a really good line. <laughs> <laughs> Press like if you like what you see. Don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you next time.